Hello, hello. So, uh, many of you probably just ignore this gadget, the teleporters. In situations, very situational, they can be quite, quite, quite powerful. Um, but it's very, very situational. If you have uh, damage pulse mini bosses, or a death bomb, or a propane is nearby, you, it, it won't work because they have one health and will break instantly if they are damaged. Even if a smasher slaps it on the ground, it will break instantly. So it's very situational. And you don't need this loadout. This is just a generic bow, totally rocking out loadout. The only thing you do need, the only thing you very much need is a weapon like the Xenon bow or any weapon that pierces and has near infinite range. You need the Xenon bow to mostly pull this off. So uh, let's go on a mission and try it out on a 160 smasher. Okay, so we have our smasher over here. This is a 160 uh, smasher, and the modifiers don't really matter. Um, here's the modifiers, because there's no, there's not going to be any husk nearby, and the smoke screen's not going to activate. But let's get to the, let's get to the main part: teleporters. So the biggest importance about teleporters is it doesn't matter the distance between them; they just have to be facing each other. So here, this blue beam right here, just ignore them over there, that blue beam is the directionality of them. So you want to have this, you, to rotate them you press your uh, reload button. For me it's R on console, I, I think it's like X, I don't, I don't know console controls, but you know, just your reload button. And you want to line them up relatively, like it doesn't, they don't have to be exactly there, but they just have to be lined up pretty close. And it doesn't matter the distance, which is why I'm going to make this really far out, just so we got a better chance of doing this perfectly. Uh, so let's try it, let's try it. So, first of all, like I said, best thing to use it with was the Xenon Bow. Uh, just for, you know, it in, in endless range and infinite piercing, which is the main reason why this works. I think I need to make it a little bit closer. Let's make it a little bit closer. So let's let's bring over the main attraction. Bring over the main attraction. Come on, buddy, let's go. So a main thing you have to watch out for during this is when the smasher slams. Because if the smasher slams, it breaks them. So let's get him walking over here, and he's gone. One hit. One hit, he's gone. And this works on mini bosses, it works on any enemy. I would say it works in things like Frost Knight, but it kinda doesn't. So if you place the teleporters around the burner, it just breaks them instantly and you have to wait for them to recharge. So they're not that useful in the pro like Frost Knight or whatever. And they can one hit bosses in Endurance. I have a clip somewhere that I will probably include now of me shredding a wave 30 twine endurance mini boss with it but uh yeah that's basically the gist of it you just need to make sure they're lined up and to make sure these are lined up together so this one is rotated to face that way and this one is rotated to face the opposite direction so they lead into each other and they just stack and uh whatever whatever steps in between those is going to get hit by it uh, I can show it off here. This is probably gonna break, but uh, let's see. Also, you don't have to shoot. You don't have to aim like standing behind or anything. It, they'll start going. So you see it there. If you have any questions, feel free to message me on Discord, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you want. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to support me, my code is Archer underscore UWU.